Welcome to this video on how to use the AAPC eBook app. First, let's log in. Enter the email address and password you created for your Bookshelf account. The home page shows all the books in your Bookshelf account. For this video, we are going to be using the CPC training book. Here we see an animated cover of the book with up arrows at the top and down arrows at the bottom. The bottom arrows take us to the next page. Initially, you may want to adjust a few things. Clicking on the AA button at the bottom opens options to adjust the text size, the font, the color mode of the background, margins, even the spacing between lines. I'm going to select a medium-sized font and adjust my line height. There, that's better. As you scroll through the book, you will see inline images and video to assist your learning. You will notice next to the AA button, there is a print icon. If your book has been made available to print limited pages, you can use this feature. Next to that, we can toggle the read aloud bar. Read aloud will literally read the book to you. You can adjust the reading speed as well as change the reader's voice. Double-clicking on a word, you will see various options. The bottom option will read to you starting from the word you've selected. You will also notice you can highlight, add notes, and create flashcards. We'll cover those in a minute. The Seek bar will display your progress throughout the book, and you can also use it to navigate to other sections quickly. The bookmark icon will add a bookmark to the page you're currently viewing. You can see a list of all your bookmarks in the left menu. Clicking on the icon again will hide the menu for easier reading. The top left menu icon is the search bar. This powerful tool can search any word or code throughout the entire book, as well as your entire library if you have multiple books. Let's search for the word macra. You will see a list of every entry of that word, and it'll be highlighted in the text. The table of contents is a fast way to jump to a specific section. Let's look at the integumentary system and jump to the HickPick level two codes. You can also make notes, and here we can see some modifiers. Let's make a note by a modifier. Modifier 50 is for bilateral use. I can select any word or phrase of the text and highlight it for later reference, as well as add a note. Let's make this groovy green and add a note to study this modifier. So now you can see I have it highlighted with my note appended so I can easily click to edit. Let's do one more. This one I want to be a different color, so I'm gonna add a new color. Clicking on the notebook icon in the left menu shows all of my highlights and each note. I can easily jump to the location of a particular note or delete it. To add a new highlighter color, click on the gear icon. You will see the colors you currently have with options to remove each one if needed. Let's click on add a new highlighter. Let's see. We have rad red, baby blue, Ooh, what about playful purple? Purple is my favorite color, so we're gonna go with that one. Notice here that you can make your highlights public, so others that you share your notes with can see what you've highlighted. For now, we'll leave that unchecked and click Save. With our new playful purple highlighter in hand, let's highlight one more modifier and add a note. Notice how it appears in the left menu. We've already talked about bookmarks, so the next icon is figures. In this area, you can find all of the available images and charts in the book, as well as jump to its location. Hovering over an image, your cursor turns into a magnifying glass. Clicking on the image opens it up larger. Click again to hide. The last icon is flashcards. This is a great tool to test yourself and for memorization. Create a new flashcard deck by clicking on the plus icon at the top. Give the deck a name. 
let's say, anatomy. Save it. And now I can add cards to the deck. I can choose what the front of the card says and the back. I can even select images from the book to use. With my card created, I can now view the deck. The app will keep track of the cards that I mark that I know or those that I did not know. This allows for easier review. Lastly, the Bookshelf app is available on all of your devices, whether it's the desktop app we've just shown you or any mobile device. So all of your progress, notes, highlights, bookmarks, and flashcards will be synced across them all. Thank you for taking a moment to tour the AAPC eBook app with us. We're excited to launch this application and we feel it'll be an incredible resource to you. Happy coding, everyone.